African nations find themselves in a challenging situation when faced with United Western nations seeking to punish them. Burkina Faso, in particular, is currently grappling with difficulties caused by weapon blockades imposed by Western nations. Despite these obstacles, Burkina Faso has displayed remarkable resilience, surprising observers. The country has revealed plans to gracefully confront these challenges, setting itself apart from others. The future holds uncertainties, and the question remains, will Burkina Faso succeed? Captain Ibrahim Trow has emerged as a key figure speaking out about the impact of the weapons blockade and the upcoming elections. The blockade significantly affects Burkina Faso's ability to acquire necessary equipment in their fight against rebels. Captain Trow sheds light on the profound repercussions of the blockade, emphasizing how it hampers the nation's efforts to procure essential tools for self-defense. This poses a significant challenge to the military's operations, as highlighted by the captain's frustration. The blockade not only obstructs equipment acquisition, but also takes a toll on the morale of Burkina Faso's military personnel. The prolonged struggle for resources creates a sense of helplessness, dampening the spirits of the soldiers. This discussion reveals the complex interplay between material support and the psychological well-being of the troops, underscoring the broader consequences of the blockade. In the face of this blockade, Burkina Faso is compelled to explore alternative strategies to overcome the challenges of equipment acquisition. Captain Troll delves into the innovative approaches being considered to circumvent the imposed restrictions. The impact of the equipment acquisition blockade extends beyond immediate military setbacks. It exacerbates the overall security situation in Burkina Faso with looming insurgent threats and the inability to enhance the military's capabilities, leaving the nation vulnerable. Efforts are being made on the diplomatic front to lift the blockade and garner international support for Burkina Faso's fight against insurgents. Captain Troll highlights these diplomatic endeavors, emphasizing the complexities of navigating international relations during crises. Collaborative efforts are crucial in addressing security challenges, as underscored by the captain's insights. The blockade imposed on Burkina Faso puts a strain on their fight against insurgents and has repercussions on their relationships with traditional allies. Captain Ibrahim Trow candidly assesses how the inability to secure vital equipment affects the nation's alliances. This section delves into the diplomatic intricacies exploring the strain on partnerships and the challenges of maintaining strong ties under external pressures. Burkina Faso's experience with the equipment acquisition blockade offers valuable lessons for other nations facing similar challenges. Captain Traw's narrative goes beyond the specifics of Burkina Faso's situation, providing insights that can be applied by other nations dealing with similar circumstances. The enduring nature of the blockade prompts a critical examination of its implications on Burkina Faso's long-term security strategy and preparedness. Captain Tror reflects on how the prolonged limitations in equipment acquisition force the nation to reassess its security posture. Regional collaboration plays a significant role in mitigating the impact of the blockade on Burkina Faso's security. In the context of security, Regional collaboration involves cooperation among neighboring countries to address common threats and challenges. Burkina Faso, facing a blockade that hinders equipment acquisition, could benefit from regional collaboration by sharing intelligence and information related to security threats. This collective understanding of the insurgency landscape helps anticipate and respond more effectively. Collaborative efforts can also involve pooling resources and capabilities to overcome the limitations imposed by the blockade. Neighboring countries can provide support, such as equipment, training, or other assistance, to help Burkina Faso strengthen its security infrastructure. Joint military operations or coordinated strategies can be implemented to counteract insurgency, making it more challenging for insurgents to operate across borders. Regional collaboration can also amplify diplomatic appeals for international assistance and the lifting of restrictions by presenting a united front. 
Additionally, regional collaboration can extend to humanitarian efforts, with countries collaborating to address the humanitarian impact of conflicts and assist affected populations. The international community can contribute to alleviating Burkina Faso's challenges in equipment acquisition. Diplomatic efforts by sympathetic countries can play a crucial role in advocating for the lifting of the blockade or easing restrictions on equipment acquisition. Engaging in diplomatic dialogues and negotiations can address the root causes of the challenges. Providing financial assistance directly to Burkina Faso for equipment acquisition is a tangible way to support the nation. Financial aid can play a crucial role in overcoming budgetary constraints and enabling Burkina Faso to procure the necessary tools to defend against insurgents. Nations willing to support Burkina Faso's security efforts can consider selling military equipment or providing military aid. This can involve supplying weapons, vehicles, communication systems, and other essential tools to strengthen the country's defense capabilities. The international community can contribute by offering training programs and capacity-building initiatives for Burkina Faso's military forces. This not only enhances the skills of the armed forces, but also ensures the effective utilization of the acquired equipment. Engaging in collaborative security initiatives with Burkina Faso can be beneficial, involving joint military exercises, intelligence sharing, and coordinated efforts to address broader security challenges in the region. Recognizing the broader impact of conflicts on civilian populations, the international community can provide humanitarian aid to those affected. This assistance can address the needs of displaced individuals and communities impacted by security issues. International organizations and alliances can play a role in coordinating efforts to support Burkina Faso engaging through regional bodies or organizations like the United Nations to amplify the impact of international assistance. Beyond immediate support, addressing the root causes of conflicts and insecurity in the region is essential. The international community can contribute to diplomatic efforts to resolve underlying issues and foster stability in Burkina Faso. Captain Traw's insights shed light on the nature of the conflict in Burkina Faso describing it as a guerrilla war that has persisted for two to three years. This protracted struggle implies a complex and evolving scenario requiring adaptive strategies from the Burkina authorities. Traw's observations open a window into the challenges faced by the region's security forces and the dynamic nature of the conflict. Burkina Faso's approach to combating terrorism is comprehensive, encompassing the entire country. This indicates a recognition of the widespread nature of the insurgency, with efforts to address security challenges extending across the nation. Captain Traw mentions a commitment to providing escorts and protecting routes, suggesting a multifaceted strategy that goes beyond direct military engagements. Safeguarding transportation routes and critical infrastructure is crucial for maintaining stability and preventing the movement of insurgents. The discussion of a recent confrontation in the Jeba zone highlights the challenges posed by rugged landscapes in north-central Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso's approach to countering insurgent activities acknowledges the need for adaptability in military strategies, especially when faced with diverse and challenging terrains. The engagement of the Burkina Air Force indicates that Burkina Faso's strategy includes leveraging air power in its counter-terrorism efforts. This highlights a comprehensive approach that involves different branches of the military to address the dynamic and evolving nature of terrorist threats. Intelligence and surveillance operations play a crucial role in effective counter-terrorism strategies. It's important to note that the information provided is based on the general context, and a more in-depth understanding of Burkina Faso's comprehensive approach to combating terrorism would require specific details. The effectiveness of Burkina Faso's strategy depends on factors such as coordination among security forces, intelligence capabilities, regional collaboration, and adaptability to evolving security threats. Burkina Faso has encountered challenges in obtaining international support, particularly in acquiring essential equipment for its defense efforts. Captain Ibrahim Traw 
highlights the nation's struggle to receive international support, which has profound implications for Burkina Faso's defense capabilities and its ability to counter insurgent threats effectively. One primary challenge is the refusal of key countries to sell weapons to Burkina Faso, restricting their access to crucial military equipment, including firearms and advanced technology. This limitation hinders their capacity to respond adequately to security challenges. The article suggests that geopolitical considerations, diplomatic complexities, or other motives have influenced these refusals. The impact on Burkina Faso's defense capabilities is significant. Without access to modern weaponry, the military may face limitations in effectively engaging insurgents. Outdated or insufficient equipment can compromise the operational readiness and effectiveness of the armed forces. Consequently, the nation's capacity to maintain security and stability, especially in the face of evolving and dynamic security threats, is affected. The refusal of international support not only affects Burkina Faso's immediate defense needs, but also raises broader questions about the global commitment to combating terrorism. The article sheds light on the challenges nations face when seeking assistance in security crises. It suggests that the geopolitics surrounding Burkina Faso's struggle against insurgents are complex, involving intricate international alliances amid a dire security situation. The refusal of certain countries, notably France and the United States, to sell weapons to Burkina Faso has a profound impact on the nation's immediate defense needs. The denial of international support directly affects Burkina Faso's ability to procure essential military equipment, and the consequences are multifaceted. The most immediate and direct impact is on Burkina Faso's military capability. Without access to modern and advanced weaponry, the armed forces may be ill-equipped to effectively counter insurgent threats. This compromises their ability to conduct successful operations and maintain security and stability within the country. The lack of access to new and advanced military equipment hinders the operational readiness of Burkina Faso's armed forces. Modern military equipment provides a range of strategic options for defense forces. The inability to acquire advanced technology and equipment puts the nation at a disadvantage in terms of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, making the detection and countering of security threats more challenging. Inadequate military capabilities can increase human and financial costs in the face of insurgency. The military may face high casualties, and the financial burden of addressing security challenges with limited resources constrain the nation's economy. The denial of international support in obtaining weapons may also affect the confidence and morale of Burkina Faso's armed forces. A sense of inadequacy and frustration can permeate the military ranks, potentially impacting the motivation and effectiveness of the troops. Burkina Faso might be forced to seek alternative sources for military equipment which may not always be reliable or provide the necessary capabilities. This dependency can introduce additional challenges in terms of compatibility, interoperability, and long-term sustainability. The lack of international support for Burkina Faso's defense efforts has broader implications for the global commitment to combating terrorism. This situation raises questions about the international community's collective responsibility in addressing security challenges. The script highlights the complexities of navigating geopolitical alliances in a dire security situation. Effective counter-terrorism efforts often require coordinated actions and support from the international community, reflecting a commitment to collective security. The refusal of certain countries, including France and the United States, to sell weapons to Burkina Faso suggests a selective approach to engaging in counter-terrorism efforts. This raises concerns about the consistency and fairness of international support, as different nations may receive varying levels of assistance based on geopolitical considerations. Burkina Faso's security challenges are not isolated but have regional implications. The lack of international support may contribute to regional instability, 
as terrorist threats often transcend national borders. This highlights the interconnectedness of global security and the need for comprehensive and collaborative approaches. Nations may prioritize their diplomatic or strategic interests over direct involvement in specific regions, potentially hindering global efforts to address the root causes of terrorism. Burkina Faso's struggle to obtain international support reveals the diplomatic challenges of navigating alliances during security crises. The geopolitical complexities may impact existing alliances and partnerships, with implications for diplomatic relations on a broader scale. The lack of support for Burkina Faso raises questions about the efficacy of existing global counter-terrorism frameworks. Beyond security concerns, the lack of international support may contribute to humanitarian consequences. Insufficient defense capabilities can lead to increased violence, displacement, and human suffering, emphasizing the humanitarian impact of geopolitical decisions. The denial of weapon sales has a profound impact on Burkina Faso's defense capabilities in the long term. This refusal by certain countries, including France and the United States, restricts Burkina Faso's access to crucial military equipment, leading to various challenges that can affect its security posture over an extended period. The lack of access to modern weaponry can result in technological obsolescence for Burkina Faso's armed forces. Over time, as military technologies advance globally, the nation's defense capabilities may lag, limiting its ability to effectively counter evolving security threats. Denied access to advanced weapons, Burkina Faso may face challenges in modernizing its military infrastructure. The absence of modern equipment hampers efforts to enhance the overall capabilities of the armed forces, including communication systems, surveillance technology, and integrated command structures. The long-term denial of weapon sales may contribute to training and skill gaps among Burkina Faso's military personnel. Without exposure to and training on the latest technologies, soldiers may lack the necessary skills to operate modern equipment, impacting the overall effectiveness of the armed forces. Military strategies often rely on a combination of conventional and advanced capabilities, and the absence of the latter can constrain the nation's ability to adapt to diverse and dynamic security challenges. As security threats evolve, Burkina Faso may become increasingly vulnerable to emerging and sophisticated forms of insurgency. The denial of weapon sales can hinder the nation's ability to stay ahead of new tactics, technologies, and strategies employed by insurgent groups. In the long term, the denial of weapon sales can have a cascading effect on Burkina Faso's national security. The nation may face challenges in deterring and responding to external threats, potentially leading to a weakened defense posture and increased susceptibility to regional and global security dynamics. Burkina Faso may be forced to rely on alternative sources for military equipment, which might not always provide the necessary capabilities. This dependency can result in challenges related to compatibility, interoperability, and the long-term sustainability of the defense infrastructure. Modern military capabilities often serve as a deterrent against potential adversaries. The long-term denial of weapon sales may pose ongoing diplomatic challenges for Burkina Faso. It can strain relationships with countries that have refused support, potentially affecting broader diplomatic engagements and alliances. But how is Captain Ibrahim Troll looking forward to dealing with all this? Captain Troll could advocate for diplomatic initiatives to address the geopolitical challenges that have led to the denial of weapon sales. Engaging in diplomatic dialogues with relevant nations and international bodies could be a strategy to build understanding and seek support. Burkina Faso could explore diversifying its allies and seeking support from a broader range of nations. Establishing partnerships with countries willing to provide military aid, weapons, or training could enhance Burkina Faso's defense capabilities. Captain Troll might focus on mobilizing internal resources to strengthen Burkina Faso's defense capabilities. This could involve optimizing existing military assets, investing in domestic defense industries, and allocating resources efficiently 
to address immediate and long-term security needs. Burkina Faso could explore forming alliances with other nations facing similar security challenges. Collaborative efforts with neighboring countries or those with shared security concerns could provide mutual support in countering terrorism. Captain Troo might appeal to the international community and organizations for assistance in addressing Burkina Faso's security challenges. This could involve seeking financial aid, technical support, or collaborative efforts in training and capacity building. Addressing the root causes of conflict through humanitarian and development initiatives could be part of a comprehensive strategy. Captain Troll might emphasize initiatives that promote stability, social development, and economic opportunities to reduce conditions conducive to insurgency. Given the challenges posed by the terrain in north-central Burkina Faso, Captain Troll might consider adaptive military strategies. This could involve specialized training for troops, using technology for surveillance, and the development of tactics suited to the rugged landscapes. Captain Troll may prioritize strategic communication to garner international understanding and support. Articulating Burkina Faso's security challenges, the impact of the denial of weapons, and the importance of international collaboration could help build empathy and support.